Interspecies breeding is not uncommon in the animal kingdom. As a result, some strange combinations of two entirely different animals have occurred. And at times, humans have intervened to create unnatural mismatches. These peculiar hybrid animals truly exist in the world. Number six, the liger. The liger is perhaps the most famous hybrid on my list and often considered Napoleon Dynamite's favorite animal. A liger is the result of crossbreeding between a lion and a tiger, making it the largest of all big cats. It can grow up to a whopping 12 feet in length. For an animal to be considered a liger, a male lion must mate with a female tiger since the opposite would produce a tiger. It is fascinating to know that these massive creatures can run up to 35 miles an hour. However, there's much more to learn about them later in this list. Ligers tend to be much bigger than either of their parents and inherit various characteristics from both. In general, they are more like a lion than a tiger. Male ligers have a mane, though it is usually shorter than that of a lion. They have a tawny coloring like a lion, but with faint tiger stripes. When they roar, they sound much like a lion as well. Although people are fascinated by this hybrid animal, they would not occur naturally in the wild since lions and tigers do not share the same habitat. In other words, they would not naturally come into contact. Even if they did, it would not be sufficient for the purpose of baby making. Therefore, people have had to intervene, play matchmakers, and bring the two animals together. Ligers only exist in captivity, and their creation is the result of deliberate or accidental tinkering by humans. Number 5. Wolfen. Now what this one could be, let's think about it. Well, you probably guessed it, sort of. It's a specific combination of the bottled nose, dolphin, and a false killer whale that makes a wolfin. Although that's not the official moniker for the hybrid creature, they've got a big scientific name that's much less fun. Stenobredesis, and really that's not so catchy. The muscular whale's not actually a whale, but it's actually a kind of dolphin itself living in warm and tropical waters in the same places as the bottlenose's dolphin. So perhaps it's not that surprising that these animals have found love across the barriers of specific species. However, despite there being alleged wild wolf in sightings, there has never been any actual proof offered up to support those claims. So as far as science is concerned, the only examples of these animals are to be found in captivity. The few that do exist have such exciting features as being extremely fast, growing much faster than a regular dolphin. And then when they've achieved their full size, these hybrid creatures can be between 12 and 22 feet long and as heavy as 600 pounds. Interestingly, the wolfen often falls into the average of each of their parents. For many of their features, they have 66 teeth. That's halfway between their parents, 88 and 44. And in appearance, they have a blended coloring which is basically somewhere that's exactly between the light gray of the bottle nose and the black of the false killer whale. Number four, Zorses. It's highly unlikely that anyone has ever said, oh honey, look at all those beautiful Zorses. Most people have probably never even heard of these unique animals. In case you're wondering, Azo is a cross between a zebra and a horse, resulting in a striped horse known as a Zorses. When a male zebra and a female horse mate, the offspring is usually a zorses. These creatures typically look like horses with a striped pattern, and they have large heads, long muzzles, and pretty eyelashes. Their long, thin, muscular legs are capable of producing fierce zebra-esque kicks. The appearance, cloud patterns, and size of a zorses can vary greatly depending on its parents and other genetic factors. Despite being a result of crossbreeding, Zorses have certain advantages over horses, such as disease and pest resistance. They inherit these traits from their sturdy zebra genes. So, it's not just about the stripes. Zorses are also known for their durability. Before we go on like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Now it's time for the sweet topic. What we have here is two photos of two very different hybrid animals. The one on the left is a honky, an incredibly rare but cute blend of a donkey and a zebra, and the one on the right is something altogether strange, some kind of blend between a pug and a rabbit. While honkies are commonly known, the latter is new to us. 
Apparently, the pug rabbit was created by a scientist who uploaded this photo online as evidence of his work. When his claims were then shot down, he mentioned how nobody believed in honkies when those were first talked about, so compared this photo to a photo of a zanky to try and assert his claim. But what do you think honkies definitely exist? But do pug rabbits? Let us know in the comments below using the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number three, the Lepon. Up next, we have the fascinating Lepon, a crossbreed between a leopard and a lion. The name may be catchy, but it's important to note that the gender of the parents matters in the breeding process. A female lion must mate with a male leopard to produce a Lepon. Despite its questionable name, this animal is a sight to behold, with the head of a lion, a spotty body like a leopard, and the male's impressive shaggy mane. These hybrid animals inherit their physical and behavioral characteristics from both parents, with Lepons possessing both the leopard's climbing and swimming abilities and the lion's sociable nature. Although Lepons have been bred in captivity, it's highly unlikely for them to occur in the wild. Lions and leopards share the same habitat and prey, making them rivals that are more likely to fight than mate. Number 2. The Tiger. Now here we are as promised at the tiger. This is the other kind of cross breeded of a tiger and lion, and this time it happens when a male tiger gets his way with a female lion. Apparently, this is much less common than the already rare liger, which is the opposite combo of parental units. But what do we know about these most of unusual animals? Well, these animals can display characteristics from both parents, much as we've seen in other hybrid species, and they can also have spots from the lioness and stripes from the tiger making for a bit of a snazzy combo, as you would imagine. Tigans are not supersized like the liger brethren. However, they basically stay a relative size in keeping with their lion heritage. Despite there being notions that this cross breeded suffers from being small, it basically is simply limited in size by the genes from its mother rather than being a gigantic one, like a liger. There are currently a handful of tigons in captivity in the United States, and they can occasionally be seen in big cat centers and zoos. In general though, breeding these animals is kind of unethical. There are some zoos in China that are known to be deliberately undertaking this kind of crossbreeding, but it's pretty creepy really. These two species are highly unlikely to ever procreate together under normal circumstances, and tiguns never occur in the wild on the account of their different habitats and the fact that these guys simply don't date long distance. It's a tricky thing to achieve, and big cats just don't have the dedication required or even the Wi-Fi connection. Number one, the beefalo. Now stop for a second and think there could be a couple of options for what this hybrid creature might be made from. A bee and a buffalo perhaps, although that's what the name says, that seems a little bit insane, so it's probably not a massive flying buffalo with a huge stinger. No boringly enough, it's a buffalo that's crossed with a cow. The name is on the account of the combination of domestic cattle and buffalo being bred to produce tasty beef that sucks for the sad old beef alone, and it seems like it doesn't stand a chance the poor creature. There's something kind of perverse about this naming of an animal for the dinner it'll become. Or am I just being too sensitive about it? The general idea is that these animals have been developed from a heady mix of female American bison and domesticated bull, the result of which is bison meat that's flavorful and lean, but the animal's more docile and less of a menace than a full bison would be. Apparently, the usual amount of bison in this recipe is 37.5% and the remainder is a domestic cow. Just how this mathematical tinkering is achieved is anyone's guess, but I imagine that it's less than dignified for all parties involved. If the combination of species ends up being 50% or more bison, then they're referred to as a cow, although I shouldn't imagine they care what they're being called. They have had all of their feistiness spread right out of them. Animals sometimes benefit from crossbreeding, which can strengthen their gene pool. However, when humans intervene to create novelty creatures for zoo exhibits, it raises questions about whether this is ethical or sustainable. Should we be meddling in the private lives of wild animals? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, take a look at the other interesting content on the screen. I'll catch you next time.